Hey you guys, remember yesterday when I was talking to you about the book that I had read uh, this past year called The Last Whalers? Well, I wanted to do a little bit of a book talk today and we're also gonna do something else with this. So let me tell you a little bit about this book. This book is about a tribe in Indonesia called the Lamalarians. Now the Lamalarians are one of the last tribes on the earth that feed themselves subsistently. That means they grow their own food or they hunt their own food. Well, these guys actually hunt their own food. And they're one of the last tribes in the world that are allowed to hunt whales subsistently. They are allowed to take X amount a year. Uh, and uh, they, they pretty much follow by the law in doing that. Um, now, here's the deal, though. They uh, hunt whales the way they've always hunted whales. They hunt whales in these large rowboats that they row themselves. And a guy stands on the very front end of that rowboat, which you're seeing there, the harpooner, and he holds an actual harpoon that they make by hand and rope that they make by hand. And he, they wait till they get close to the whale and then the harpooner jumps off the front of the boat into the water as he's passing the whale, he tries to harpoon the whale. Now, we actually have some pictures of this uh, inside this book, as you can see. It is a very dangerous activity. And the tribe depends on these men for, uh, they, they, they're dependent on to get this whale. This whale will feed them for an entire season. I think they can live off of two or three if I remember right. And once they get a whale and they bring it in, they cut up every piece of the whale and they divvy it out to every single tribe member. Now, the harpooner gets the largest sh share. He has the biggest risk. The guys that are in the boat get the larger shares. But everybody gets some of the whale because everybody in the community played a part in getting the food in some way, shape, or form, whether it was making or repairing a boat, or whether it was ma helping make the harpoon, or whether it was cooking uh, the rice that would go with the food, or growing vegetables, or something like that. Everybody gets a share. Um, so this is an amazing group of people uh, that you read about. Now, this book isn't just about these guys risking their lives to hunt a whale. It's also about the conflict that they are having in their modern, uh, in this modern day. See, the tribe meets once a year and they decide each year if they're going to continue on with doing what they're doing or if they're just going to leave it all and go live in a modern city and work a modern job. And a lot of the young people actually do. They leave the tribe and they go across the mountains to some cities in Indonesia and they work jobs and they have cell phones and they have computers and then they start having things that they didn't have when they were in the tribe. See, in the tribe, it was hard. Life was difficult. I mean, you had to scratch out a living by hunting these whales. Um, it was dangerous. A lot of guys lost, lose their lives doing it. But one of the things they didn't deal with a whole lot until they start, some, some of these young people start going into the cities and living a modern life, is they didn't deal with things like depression. They didn't deal with some things like drug use. They didn't deal with a whole lot of um, foolish living that gets them into trouble. They didn't deal with that while they were in the tribe, but as they went over to the mountains and worked a regular job, they did. It's a very interesting book on the conflicts of life uh, as uh, simple like the ancients live versus life like we live in the modern world. So this is what we're going to do with this. I'm going to ask you to take your writer's notebook and turn it to a blank page. And for the next three minutes, I want you to write about what you think life would be like for you if you did not have a cell phone, a computer, an iPad, video games, 
all those different things that characterize our life as modern people. What would life be like if you didn't have those things? What would you do? Would it be better? Would it be worse? You could answer both. It could be better in some ways and worse in others. How is it better? Or how is it worse? And why do you think? And I want you to write for three straight minutes. All right? Now, after you get done with that, then you're going to click on Modules. Once you go to Modules, you're going to see the activity that we have today. It's a pre-reading activity for the Outsiders. Now, you don't have to have the Outsiders yet, a copy of it yet. You have to have that next week. But this week, we're doing a lot of work and getting you ready and understanding the context of the story. And, and part of that will happen today uh, as you click on the module and you'll see some instructions and, and, and you'll go through some slides and understand life um, in the uh, period of where the outsiders were written. Okay? So work hard on that today and have a good day.